welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Frozen Steve. It is really cold today. And today I am out here with the M7 Mini Micro Mall, or is it the Micro Mini Mall? Now, if I hold this plane like this, you can see it's a bush style plane and the mall is a plane I have flown before, but every mall I've flown has been massively large. One was a red one like this, and it was made by E-Flight. It's called the M7 Mall by E-Flight. And the other one up here is blue and it's by FMS and it's called the M7 Mall by FMS. Not only have the malls I've reviewed in the past been large and super powerful, but they also do 3D flight and really cool things. This little guy is supposed to be able to do the same thing in a very tiny package. And because it's a microplane, it is designed for beginners and it comes in a ready to fly kit, RTF. You always want to look for that if you're a beginner. So this comes in an RTF kit, very inexpensive. So what's an RTF kit, a ready to fly kit for the RC airplane hobby means you get the plane, you get the receiver inside, you get a transmitter, which you might call a remote depending on which hobby you come from. And this one's actually pretty good because this transmitter has a range of 200 meters. I'll put what that is in feet up here someplace. So 200 meters is beyond the range that you would actually see this in the sky. It also comes with a battery and a battery charger. And since it's made for beginners, it means you're gonna get a long flight time, which on this one is 15 minutes of flight time on this tiny little battery. Not only that, since it is a beginner ready to fly kit, they made it super strong. So by super strong means it's next to impossible to destroy the foam unless you drive over it with your car or truck. The motor in the front, they didn't put a cheapy gear motor. It's a brushless motor, all metal. So if you smash into the ground, the only thing you can break is the prop and they give you a spare prop. The receiver inside, they made it so you can upgrade it. So I'll put a schematic up here. You can attach S bus receiver to it. And finally, to make you look like a pro when you're at the field flying, there's a little button up here so you can press that button and this plane will do all sorts of flips and rolls. Also, if you want to practice being a really pro pilot, the switch up top takes it out of 6G mode, puts it into 3D mode, and puts it into manual mode. It's up to you how you want to fly it. So unfortunately, it's kind of cold today, so I'm not going to stay out here long, and it's also breezy, which is making it even worse. We are in the month of March. I don't know when you're watching this video, but I'm going to go fly this in the wind. I would suggest to any beginners, don't fly this in the wind, because it's so tiny. Uh, the wind's going to knock it around, so you'll see it get knocked around here today, but let's go fly. This is not going to be a long flight because it is, like I said, windy and it's very cold. So I've put the transmitter on 6G, which is the switch all the way up. I'm going to power it on. There we go. There's a little light and a little noise. One of the cool things on this transmitter is that every minute that it's on, it will beep when it's connected to the plane. That's to keep telling you that uh, when you hear 15 beeps, you're out of power. <laughs> now, I'm sure at the end it tells you that uh, you're out of power. So pretty simple to get this started. Just plug in the battery. It will come to life. You'll see lights all over the plane. That's the other cool thing about this plane is I'll show you a picture. There's lights all over this thing. Where's my sun gone? The sun has got out. <laughs> all right. So let me bring this close to this camera camera over here. So I'm holding it close. You can see the little blinky lights. What I want to show you is I have prop power. There we go. And if I do this with my other hand, I should have ailerons. There we go. Hopefully you can see that on there. And I have an elevator in the back, which will also work. And uh, there's a beautiful sound telling me another minute has counted down. And the cool thing on this microplane is you even get a rudder Oops. left and right. So that's beautiful. So that's perfect for the wind. All right, let's go fly. Hopefully you're going to see this plane because the sun is going in and out. There's not a lot of light. I'm going to throw it into the wind. It's a hand tosser today because my runway is toast. And uh, let's give it lots of throttle. It's on stability mode, so this is beginner mode. It should fly itself pretty much. All I have to do is turn it left and right. All right, into the wind. How does it fly? Toss it. <laughs> That's into the wind. It's fighting the wind, but it's flying. I'll bring it around where it can go faster. Oh, it doesn't like the wind. That's why I say don't fly these things on windy days. I'm going to bring it slow where it can almost stand still in the wind. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm the one who's controlling it. Try to make it just stand still in the wind just by threading the throttle here. Whoa, the wind is pushing it over that direction. We don't want to do that. Come on back. I'm sure I can get it. <laughs> So as I mentioned, beginners do not fly this in the wind. I'm going directly into the wind right now. But watch when I turn it around and come at me. It's just going to boogie. Whoa! <laughs> the wind threw it into the ground. Now we can test out how strong it is. That was right. This is super hard, hard ground down here. Look at this stuff. It's like rock hard pavement. So there we go. It's crashed once, nosed into the ground, full blast, and it's still in one piece. Nice throw it with the wind. 
There are still fly in here. Oh my god. Okay. So this is gonna be a short video because there's not much else I can do other than to tell you that this plane exists. It's a little micro mini mall and don't fly it in the wind as I'm doing here. This is probably my worst review ever because there's not much I can do with this. I gotta see if I can land it. Let's see if I can land it without crashing it. Coming closer, coming closer, coming closer. Come on, you can do it. Coming closer, coming closer. Bring it down slow. Look at that. Oh, isn't that a good boy? Okay, and one last thing just to try. I put a little camera Insta360 Go on the top here. That's a lot of weight for this little micro thing. I don't know if it'll work. I'm gonna throw it, see if it flies. Where's my gloves? My hands are freezing here. Normally I'd throw this into the wind, but the wind is really blowing, so I'm just gonna throw it with, with the wind, which is not a good idea. All right, and I can't do any 3D flight today because it's just too windy. It's just knocking everywhere. Anyways, let's see if she flies. I'm gonna throw it sideways right at this camera. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> that did not work. That did not go well. Okay, so that was a total fail. So I'm having no luck out here because it's much too windy. So what I'm going to do now is show you what you get in the box if you buy this. So check this out and then come back to me. This is the box your mini mall comes in. Inside the box, you'll see that everything is well packaged. Items included in the box would be the instruction manual, the main wings, and you'll notice that the graphics, the servos, the wiring, everything's been installed. Next, you have a goodie bag that contains a spare prop, a USB battery charger, and a bag of spare screws. The landing gear assembly is included, but it's not really needed. Next, you have the main fuselage and the graphics, as well as all the electronics have been pre-installed. Even the brushless motor and prop have been installed. The four forward hatch open so that you have easy access to the brushless motor. The included battery can be found in the fuselage. A six channel radio transmitter is included. It does require four AA batteries not included. Total weight of the plane with battery is under 100 grams. Oh, now the sun comes out. Yes, after we finished everything. Okay, so it's too windy to do too much with this plane. I can try to fly it around a little bit more here, but I don't think I will because it's too cold and it's just getting tossed around in the wind. This is a beginner plane, but it's designed 100% to fly on days with no wind. So today is a good example of when not to fly it. But I was able to fly it. But if you were a total beginner taking this for your first flight, you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to control it. You would just thunder into the ground. As I did over there into the hard ground, but it survived. It's pretty darn decent. All right, I'm going to put a link to this ready to fly kit below. You can go check it out. It's not expensive at all. That's why I'm reviewing it because a lot of people like a beautiful plane with a brushless motor and I dropped it. It's not very expensive. It is a ready to fly kit. It is 100% designed for beginners. It has the three flight modes with the stabilization that I flew it in here. Then you can go into semi stabilized. Then you can go into manual mode and you can also do 3D flips and everything just by the press of a button. I couldn't show you any of that here because it's much too windy but i wanted to tell you this plane's available now at a very good price because it's on sale especially with my discount code so check it out pick it up at a super low price and uh enjoy it and then tell me how your flight goes the wind is blowing it out of my hands here all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you have questions on this plane post them below once again sorry i couldn't do more on this but i have to get this video out so i can show you that this is on sale at a really good price all right thanks for watching the video catch you in the next one till then i say bye